Hey guys. Hey guys. How you doing? How it's, you doing? It's spring. It's, <laughs> it's summer. summer. We it's, just went through Memorial Day weekend. It is now officially it's summer. Officially yeah. Summer. Yeah. So in <laughs> honor of summer, uh, we decided to dust off our bikes. They, they haven't been ridden for a little bit, uh, but uh, I biked with Hermina to work today. And mm -hmm. uh, we also were uh, talking last night about a paper that just came out last month on uh, commuting to work. So active commuting to work so actually walking or biking or some combination of the two and not just taking public transit or taking your car to work like most people mm -hmm. do here so where was that paper published Russell? oh uh, i think it was published in the british medical journal yeah so is that right? get this this is like <laughs> not just a little journal that you know you pay to publish or whatever this is the british medical journal yeah, so this a, is a, a renowned yeah, journal it's a, a peer-reviewed journal right yeah yeah, yeah so, so big time essentially said is uh, actively commuting, so either walking or biking, reduces all cause mortality. So it reduces your chance of dying from any cause mm -hmm. by how much? A well, lot. it depends on your activity or and how much of yeah. it you do. Right, right. Yeah. And so they, it also said that uh, further is better. Yeah. So the name of the study here, it's, it's an open source article, so anybody can look it up, anybody can read it. But the name of the article is Association Between Active Commuting and Incident Cardiovascular Disease, Cancer and Mortality, a Prospective Ooh. Cohort Study. We'll link the paper in the description below so you guys can look at the article. I did read the whole article. You um, fell asleep a couple times while reading well, it. It's I, a long article. I, I started to read it right before I was going to take a nap. <laughs> so anyways, what makes the study so cool is the amount of people they had in it. They have numbers. How many people? Uh, it was like 180 179. Or 100, yeah. 179,000 people. So it's a thousand big study. 1000 people. That's a lot of people. So I did pay a little bit of attention. When <laughs> so <laughs> essentially what they did in this article is they took all those people and they gave them a questionnaire and trust me these questionnaires are lengthy. They ask you everything mm -hmm. from, you know, what you do for work, how active you are, do you work out, are you sedentary, what do you eat, do you drink alcohol do you eat meat are you vegetarian blah 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 and then they took all these variables and they controlled for them so they controlled for age sex right. bmi w whether you work out or not and, and all they looked at was whether you go to work or not on a bike on actively. the bus or walking yeah oh right 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 and one of the other things that it, the study did show that uh, the further that you bike reduced the chances of getting cancer or dying from cancer even more so in this case more is better mm-hmm yeah, and so that was kind of cool. And then they looked at walking compared to biking and what's better, walking or biking. Mm -hmm. And they found that actually cycling or biking is more preventative than walking. And you do get some benefit from walking, but you got to walk a minimum of six hours every week commuting to yeah. work back and forth in order to see a benefit. Which, you know, I mean, if that works for you, that's okay too. So mm -hmm. um, if, if walking works better and if you don't have access to a bike, then definitely get out there, be active and walk to work. Yeah, for sure. So. The authors at the end of the study, they concluded that, you know, public health should be really active mm -hmm. in making bike paths, getting bike friendly neighborhoods, communities. And it's true. If you can save a lot of deaths and incidences of cardiovascular disease and cancer, why not by creating more bike paths? Yeah. So get out in your community, talk to your leaders, encourage mm -hmm. your community to build more bike paths mm -hmm. and maybe go out and explore the bike paths you have. Yeah. And also on that note, on safety, Make sure you wear your bike helmet That's right. and high-vis color so you can be seen out there. Yeah, and if you have some of those little lights, the flashing kind, mm -hmm. you know, on the front and back of your bike, that's good. Even in the daytime, it makes you more visible. Right, and reflectors on your bike are also a really simple, very cheap safety thing to throw on yeah. your bike. If you even go down to a bike shop, a lot of times they'll give them out for free. That's so true. And then how do you want a bike when you're biking around, going to work and back? What do you mean? On the left side of the road? <laughs> What right I'm trying to say is you want to <laughs> bike defensively. So you oh, want to right. make sure <laughs> you want to make sure that you just assume that the other cars don't see you. You want to yeah. always just make sure that you are looking out for the other people because a lot of those cars will not see you even if you do wear the high vis colors, yeah. etc. So it helps a lot to be seen. Mm -hmm. But even today I had someone pull in and they just were not even looking for bicyclists. So yeah. you do have to be careful. But the study, I believe, actually even still showed that you still reduce your chance of dying from any cause, including bicycle accidents <laughs> by commuting to work. That's right. So don't let that be a reason to keep you off the road. 
That's right. Yeah, awesome study. Check it out. Please do read it. I hope this is inspiring to you. It is summer. The weather's nice. Get out on your bike. Start commuting. Just try to be a little more active. See where that takes you. All right. Well, thanks for watching. And until, until next, next time, time. Aloha. aloha.